Hello everyone, it's Kane532 here from RivalGamer.com, uh, bringing with you an updated tutorial on the PS2 soft modding video. Uh, I know this has been highly requested from a lot of people because most of you have been having a lot of issues with this, so I'm going to be covering as many grounds as I can. Uh, so there are several different ways to do a soft mod for PlayStation 2. Um, the first, the first method that we're going to be using is the title DB method that uses a PlayStation 1 game. Uh, so for your supplies, you're going to need an Action Replay Max. Uh, it has to be Max because we need to use the uh, memory card. <laughs> Hi, puppy. We're going to be using the memory card functionality of the Action Replay Max. You're going to need a PlayStation 1 game, and I mean, come on. You knew I was going to pick Metal Gear Solid before this video even started. Uh, you will need a PlayStation 2 memory card. Uh, it can be any size, 8 megabytes, so on and so forth, whatever. And um, this is going to make a lot of people very happy. Uh, I found that if you use a 2 gigabyte micro SD card, you can make this work and you don't have to worry about all those stupid issues that everyone else was having with the uh, not having a compatible flash drive. All you need is some sort of reader. Uh, so. Without further ado, we're going to jump right on in. Now, once you got this thing plugged into your uh, little adapter or whatever, we're going to plug that into the computer and format it. Alright, so once you got her up here, we are going to do a format. You want to make sure that it is... Uh, your file system is FAT, F-A-T, and we're just going to name this PS2 Soft Mod. And now once that's complete, we're going to need a couple different files, which uh, everything will be provided for you in the description. So from here, all we really want to do is take everything inside of the PS2 Freemic boot folder, empty it in here. We're also going to want ulaunch.elf. Put that in the folder as well. So once all that stuff is in there, we can get do away with that. The next step is going to be to create the exploit. For that, we're going to need our PlayStation 1 game and plug that into your PC. I don't mean plug it in because it's a disk. And, well, yeah. So, uh, here is another hiccup that a lot of people have mentioned to me before. Um, but hey, what if I don't have a CD drive? What if, uh, what if this? What if that? Well, as long as you have an ISO of that existing game, uh, you can find your find your own way to download it. All you do is you mount the game to your computer, and it'll do the exact same thing. But once it's uh, once it's in there, either mounted or physically, you're gonna open up the Title DB generator. You're gonna go on down to the disk drive. For us, it's gonna be the D drive. Get ID from CD. Now, as you can see, we have it right here: SLUS 005.94. Make sure you click this button right here that says add. Once you do that, come on down and click the save title.db. It'll tell you where it's saved right down here in the corner. So, we are going to go ahead and double check that. Oh my god, hang on. Now, the most important thing about this file is this very last bit is uh, here. This is what you need for this exploit to work. Uh, if it didn't work, then you're not going to see this. You're not going to see this. You're only going to see uh, that, pretty much. But as long as you got this in there, you are good to go. Once that's there, we can move over to the PS2 Save Builder. Go down and click the New File option. Now from here, we are going to need to make sure we have the correct file system. 
And for that, it's going to depend on the region of the game that you have. For us, uh, this case, we're going to be using the uh, NTSC, or the US version of our game. So we're going to copy this first one right here. Put that in the new file, or replace new file with that. And then from there, we need to open up title db just our our folder where uh, we had the title db was saved for we're going to drag this over into that come on down and find the ulaunch.elf drag that over as well now this uh i haven't played around with it too much but you may have to uh change the name to boot.elf um give it a try with both uh, let me know if it works and uh, let me know in the description so once that's there we are going to save it and you want to make sure that it is saved as a .max which is the AR Max V3 file format excuse me go down to our flash drive that we just formatted and let's just label it exploit click save go ahead and make sure that it is in there as you can see right here it is in so after all that is done remove the flash drive okay I'm on. okay it won't let me safely remove it but we'll do it that way anyway then take that and plug it into your PS2. Make sure your memory card is in here as I drop it. And first thing you want to do, put in the action replay. Woo! That's okay. All you gotta do is restart the PS2 if it doesn't start the first time. So I do want to say, uh, with this method using this particular flash drive, uh, I have had nothing but success with it. Uh, this is actually the fifth or sixth time that I've tried making this video. Um, because there was just a slew of, uh, stupid shit that just kept going wrong. <laughs> but, uh, each time that I made the video, this flash drive has given me zero errors, zero issues. So, uh, it should work for exactly what you all need. So once you get, uh, it loaded up, go over to the max memory. Then, go to my devices. Here you should see your flash drive and your memory card. Now, uh, here's a couple different things. From here, the only thing you're going to want to delete is your system configuration. Sometimes, if you're using an off-brand memory card, it could corrupt the memory card and you could have a couple issues. Uh, it looks like we're fine on that one, but if, uh, if you get to this screen and your memory card icon is, being, is red and you can't really select it, hit square and you can format it it's going to erase everything that's on the memory card but uh... you will be able to make it work doing that so once that's done go over to your flash drive and it's going to read all the contents of it but what we're looking for is a file called new file which is right there select that go down to uncrush and uncrush it to memory card one Now this right here is why we had to delete the system configuration. The way that this exploit works is it installs this game save as your system configuration onto that memory card so that when we load into our PlayStation 1 game and it reads that file from the memory card, instead of loading into that game, when it reads the, uh, the game ID, it immediately launches into the uh, U-Launch. So once that's all done,
go back over to your memory card make sure that file is in there looks like everything's good so back all the way to this first screen hit the start button we're going to put in the game make sure you take it out of your PC first Uh, it is definitely worth noting that this will not work with a burned copy of the game. You have to have the original PlayStation 1 game. And it'll work with damn near every PlayStation 1 game. I've tried it on multiple. Uh, but of course, hey, Metal Gear, come on. Uh, and a funny thing is, with uh, Action Replay, it's not going to let you launch from... Uh, from action replay into the game so it's just gonna boot us back to the browser so if it doesn't work for you hey it's normal so go ahead and launch the game and if you see a flashing white screen that means you have done this successfully and that is the hardest part of this once you're in you launch navigate down to mass that's going to be where our flash drive is held. Go down to FMB or FMCB installer, hit circle and launch that. And right here we have the installation. And this is the easy part. All you got to do, yes, normal, and it'll start installing. You can go ahead and take out your PlayStation 1 game, because we no longer need that. And it'll boot you back into the browser. Once you're in the browser, hit circle for go back excuse me and as you can see free mcboot version 1.95 with all the fixings have been loaded so in the next video segment uh, i will be showing you how to install different homebrews on here get them added to your main menu screen here you can tweak things around a little bit um, but yeah that is the end of step one getting your memory card uh, soft mod soft modded so the fun thing with free mcboot you can now take this memory card this memory card and you can plug it into any playstation 2 and it'll work all you gotta do is uh... put the flash drive in um, if you want to take this over to your buddy's house and you want him to have the same exploit all you gotta do is take your flash drive and your memory card take that over launch uh... ulaunch.elf and then it's the exact same process. You just navigate to Mass and go to the FMCB installer. And then you can be the talk of all your, uh, all your friends then. So this is the first method. Like I said, this is the first of several methods to uh, soft mod your PlayStation 2. I will be getting into the other methods in a later video. I uh, hope you all enjoyed, and as always, happy modding.